to Book News. I'm Bobby the Bibliophile, bringing you all the best books in the book world. Today's special, Number the Stars by Lois Lowry. Number the Stars is full of wonderful examples of literature, good things, such as imagery. I'm going to read you three examples from this very miraculous and wonderful book. Anna Marie stared up. There were two of them. That meant two helmets, two sets of cold eyes glaring at her, and four tall, shiny boots planted firmly on the sidewalk, blocking her path to home. Isn't that just some wonderful imagery? It really helps you grasp the feeling of how shiny the boots are, and how there are two or four of everything, meaning that there are two people there. That really helps you understand what situation she is in. She is staring up at a few people. Now, let's see what the second example is. The little red-roofed farmhouse was very old. Its chimney, crooked, and even the small, shuttered windows tilted at angles. A bird's nest, wispy with straw, was half hidden in the corner where the roof met the wall above a bedroom window. Nearby, a gnarled tree was still speckled with a few apples now long past ripe. That really helps you understand the setting that they are in and how the red barn looks and how the windows are with the window frames at an angle and how the bird's nest is on the house. That was page 16, chapter 7. Now, let's take a look at our third example. Through the window, they could see a thin, round slice of moon appear through the clouds against the pale sky. That really helps you to picture what type of light there is and how the moon is a small sliver and is not very full, so it's not a full moon. Those are some of the examples I chose to share with you, and this really shows how the book is very prodigious and wonderful, and you should buy it today. Thank you for watching Book News. Join us next week.